down here we can see that name represents a string value which means that whatever we're gonna write here whatever we're gonna write in this spot is gonna have to be in quotations because it's a string that's how you write strings in quotations and it tells you that this is the name of the action so if we go back what is the name of the action we want let's go back to the animation uh, layout our action is called or my action is called health bar animation which with each word starting with a capital so for the name since it's a string it's in quotations and you can see it says let me just emphasize that it says string over here so it has to be in quotations and it's called health bar animation if I got it wrong it's gonna give me an error alright so we have our string next up there's a comma dividing the name and then start frame so we're gonna have to add a comma and then the start frame the start frame is gonna be the start frame of the action and if you can look at an action logic brick you can see that there's the the name of the animation there's a start frame end frame blend in priority uh, play uh, it's the like the play mode if it's gonna set be set to play loop whatever right so it's the same thing here just in text so we're gonna have our comma then the starting frame now the ghost is always a step behind right uh, that's sort of the start and then the end which is the updated HP is gonna be the HP property so of course we have properties made to be used in the animation and that's what the anim HP and anim ghost are so we made all these adjustments from the original HP all the way down to anim HP so we can fit it into our animation and play our animation properly so, so the starting frame is gonna be the ghost animation property so it's gonna be health bar anim as I called it here anim ghost HP that's the starting frame and then next up is the end frame so name start frame end frame and the end frame is actually gonna be the HP so health bar anim HP as I've called it here that's gonna be the ending frame next up is gonna be a pri uh, layer we don't need to put layer we don't care about layer there's priority uh, we don't care about priority we do care about blending with priority by default it's set to zero as you can see uh, now priority only matters if you have multiple animations that you may be playing at once and you want to tell it which animation should play over the other one we don't have multiple animations we just have one uh, blending is is not that useful either right uh, in this case it's kind of useful but not vital so we won't add it next up is play mode that's this one is really key so play mode uh, we're gonna have, first of all have to add play underscore mode to distinguish that uh, this is the play mode and then we can look down here we have end start and layer priority blend in play mode and it gives us the options there's KX action mode play in the action logic brick this is what the KX uh, KX action mode play is actually just the play button next up is KX action mode loop and that would be loop right and there's also KX action mode ping pong and that is ping pong now you notice there's no flipper uh, I'm not sure if flipper exists in this one I'm not sure if you can distinguish between loop stop and loop end but that's what they offered us what we want to use is play because we just want to play when the player loses health we just want to go from the first the starting frame to the end frame and that's it we don't want it to keep looping that decrease health animation so we're just gonna go of course it's a KX it starts with KX so we have to do what we do with keyboard which is add BGE logic and then KX action mode play as we can see it here so KX action mode play then after that is layer weight we don't care about layer weight in this case IPO flags we don't care about that speed speed is gonna matter so we're gonna add a comma and then add speed equals by default it's set to 1.0 I'm gonna set it to 30.0 and I'm gonna show you guys why later on but basically this is gonna be our line that plays the animation so 
health bar it's gonna say that we want to apply that we want to play this action on the health bar object so the first thing is the name of the animation second is the starting frame which we have a property as a starting frame in this case and then we have uh, an ending frame which is also a property then there's the play mode KX action mode play and then there's the speed of 30 so we're gonna go ahead and hit P to see if there's any errors and I actually didn't get errors awesome so now we can test this I'm gonna hit space and I lose you notice that it's going down right as I hit space now the animation speed you can see that it's a smooth transition from uh, the first frame which is the so right now it's at ghost uh, it's at sorry HP when I hit start it's gonna take ghost uh, it's kind of hard to explain okay let me just put it this way so now the property the health bar property is set to 2351 uh, under the animation it's currently set as you can see anim HP is set to 709 uh, 796 so we're currently on frame 796 in the health bar animation uh, now when I hit space again what's gonna be the starting frame when I hit space the starting frame is gonna be ghost animation right well when I hit space ghost is gonna update to become 796 so the starting frame is going to become 796 and of course HP will be reduced so there's going to be a new ending frame so if I hit space it updated ghost before it played the animation because you can see here the order it's going to update ghost first then reduce HP then play the animation now it's going to do them so fast that you're going to think it does them at the same time so I'm just going to go back to my example there HP is currently set to 796 that's the frame we're on ghost is set to 898 if I hit space it's gonna change ghost to equal 796 which is currently the HP value right uh, then HP is gonna be reduced to a new value and that's gonna be the end frame it's kind of hard to explain this you gotta know how animations work and I guess you gotta take a bit of a look at this and try to understand how ghost works in this case but ghost is always a step behind that's the key uh, to having a smooth animation and to having a start and end frame and changing the speed will make the animation faster or slower so now you can see there's a certain speed at which it moves from one uh, one uh, position to another if I speed this up to say uh, 100 notice how fast it's gonna transition now it's almost popping to that position right because it plays it so fast if I set it to 1 it's gonna be so slow you can see that it's still playing the animation it's so slow that it takes a while for it to move from its actual position to where it should be and that's why I set it to 30 that's kind of the magic number in my case that's the speed that I like you can see it's moving there you can see the movement but it's it's not too fast alright so before slow. we end the video obviously we want to get rid of this uh, action actuator because it's completely unnecessary uh, now as you can see what I used to do back in the day when blender was still very new uh, I had over 200 lines I would have had over a hundred lines of uh, basically each column would be a hundred logic bricks uh, maybe even a little bit more actually more because this one would have 200 because it's gonna have the property change and also the animation and you guys just did it in uh, three bricks even this one is unnecessary because it's just for taking damage five properties and a Python script that's no more than 30 lines half of them are just dividers empty spaces empty lines so yeah just to recap the logic behind this we have five properties the original HP technically we have uh, these three and then there are two more the percents and then two over here so it's like not more like nine uh, but the reason why this one is a Python property and these ones are object properties is because I want to see these in debug by clicking this button I don't care to see the percent uh, so I didn't make it an object property but basically you have the maximum HP which is the the actual the full capacity of the health uh, the players health and it's used to calculate the percent that's why that's the main reason it's there there's the HP and then there's the ghost HP the HP is there because it's the health but it's also gonna be the end frame in our animation 
There's the ghost, which is not really necessary, except be, uh, it's only there because we need it in the animation as the starting frame. Because it's always a step behind, it's useful for being a starting frame. Uh, and then we take the HP, we convert it to a percent, which is represented by purse HP, by taking the HP property, dividing it by the maximum HP, and multiplying it by 100. And we also get the percent of the ghost, HP represented by purse ghost. Now they're at a value out of 100. Our animation is out of 1000, so we have to do one more step to convert these percents to a value that can be used in our animation. So we multiply the value out of 100 to by 10 to make it a value out of 1000. Uh, and those are going to be the final two properties which we use in our animation. That's basically what is going on here. Now in terms of the actual damage, in order to keep Ghost a step behind, before we reduce the damage, we just change Ghost to be what, whatever health is set to. Then we apply the damage, then we play the animation. So it's done in an order that is logical and it makes things work. So if I decide to let's say the player got another upgrade and now his health is at 4560 we're gonna have to change HP 4560 and HP ghost or ghost HP to 4560 so that they're all identical uh, now obviously in your game you would have logic to change it automatically when an upgrade is made in this case I do it manually because I don't have that and now if I test it out you can see my animation HP is still out of a thousand so that's good I can still reduce health now you notice that it's doing less damage because 300 is a lot smaller uh, than uh, basically uh, 4560 is a lot more than 2900 so the the change is a little bit less noticeable although it's still pretty noticeable so you can see it still works fine even though we change the value of the HP uh, so it's a flexible system it works in games where you have to change the value of HP depending on upgrades and whatnot or debuffs so yeah it's it's a useful system if you guys like this please like the video if you have any comments criticism uh, suggestions on what the next tutorial should be let me know in the comments section and I'll see you guys next time subscribe for more